for 22 years. Clint Lewis has been entrenched in the Baylor football program. From his smiles to his dancing, Clint has enjoyed every second along the way. Clint has come so far in life, overcoming many obstacles as he had open heart surgery soon after he was born. For someone that, that he didn't think would survive, to being 41 years of age now and being a role model for a lot of people. Clint was also born with Down syndrome, but that disability hasn't stopped him from making a tremendous impact on people. Even his parents, Jim and Cynthia Lewis, have felt the difference. Clint is a very loving, very giving, very empathetic person who cares very, very much about other people and their feelings. If I had to choose another son, it'd be Clint Lewis. On my bad days, I think about Clint Lewis and he makes me smile, he makes me happy. The Baylor football program has been happy to have Clint on the team since 1995. That's when Clint first volunteered with the program as a manager under then head coach Chuck Reedy. They saw what a good job he did, so they decided to hire him. And so the second year he became an employee. Within those first two years, Clint started a new tradition by running out of the tunnel with the team at Floyd Casey Stadium. Clint's first time running out, that's a moment Clint's mom will never forget. Well, Clint ran out of the tunnel. He was right at the first of the team. And he ran out just as proud as he could be. And after the game, he said, Mom, did you see all those people stand up and clap for me? So <laughs> he was very excited. In the late 90s, that infectious smile would not only remain involved in football, but Clint also helped then head coach Clyde Hart's track and field program. Clint also earned a job at the local HEB, all while having a successful run competing in Special Olympics. Fast forward to 2011, Clint then met a new friend. It was newly hired defensive coordinator Phil Bennett. Coach Bennett and Clint hit it off right from the beginning. Uh, I walked in the quit room because uh, I like to hang out with those guys. They, they work so hard, the, the student managers and our equipment guys. Uh, Jeff and Brett and I go in there and I see Clint and I said all right we got a we got a new helper and uh, and he, he set me straight pretty quick he said he runs this place he said I do most of the work and then sometime during that season uh, I told him I said what do you think Clint what, what are we gonna have to do you know to, to win this and uh, he started giving me some good game plans we've had a nice run with his game plans okay tell me about it Okay. Hammer the spike. All right. Court blockers. Okay. Steelers. Where's your Steeler at? Okay. Decoy. Right here. That 61? Yep. Okay. Thunder and attack. Thunder and attack. I like it. I like it. Oh, he thinks that's the, his play wins the game every time. But Coach Bennett's been great. He's a good friend and, and he's a wonderful person. And he's encouraged Clint very much. And so we appreciate what he's done. In 2012, Clint would meet another pair of friends. First, it was a transfer running back out of Oregon named Lake Seastrunk. He would come after he ran a play, he would come and he would sit with Clint and put his arm around him. And, They'd talk about the play, but Lake was great sitting with him and being his brother. Lake got the chance to break down 19 touchdowns to Clint during his Baylor career. That same year, Clint met another former Baylor student athlete, seven foot one, Mamadou GN, who would later become Clint's roommate. Mamadou was a crowd favorite during his playing days at the Farrell Center. He heard Clint was a fan favorite as well. 
Mamadou is not surprised people love Clint. You know, he just has a big heart, man. He's got a big, big heart, you know. He loves people. Mamadou and Clint have grown so close over the years, Mamadou has a pregame ritual on game days. Actually, that's part of my routine. Before the team runs out, I gotta find him. I can find him, see him. Okay, cool, now we can play football. Clint has a heart of gold and a passion for dancing. His inspiration for dancing comes from his love of Michael Jackson and Selena Gomez. But sometimes he can get carried away. When he first started doing it, uh, 20 something years ago, I had to ask him to tone it down because he was dancing all the time. And the people were watching him dance instead of watching the football game. In 2015, Jeff Barlow and Brett Bufton from the football equipment staff got Clint a present. It's very, very special to him. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but it has 40 on one side and 20 on the other because. He was 40 years old and had been with the team for 20 plus years, and so they made him that jersey, and it's just wonderful. It's very important to him. In June of 2016, when Jim Grobe was hired, Clint's parents were concerned about his continued involvement. I told him that every time there had been a new coach at Baylor, we had been afraid that they wouldn't let Clint keep doing what he's been doing. And he put his arms around me and he said, honey, you don't need to worry about me that Clint's very, very welcome. So I really appreciated that. Clint is a productive member of society thanks to the outstanding work from his parents. Clint's parents have made sure that, that Clint uh, gets involved, that, that he has no uh, boundaries on what he can do. I mean, he's living life, you know, he's living life. He's doing everything he wants to do. He's going to work. He goes to work, he's very, very proud of it. He's been at HEB, I think, 15 years, 22 years, my bad. So he's very proud of that. You know, he's doing everything he wants to do. And I don't care if I go in there and get a bottle of aspirin, he's gonna carry it out for me. Clint's parents are very appreciative of Baylor football and their willingness to let Clint be a part of the family. During the last 22 years, it's been a win-win for everyone involved as Clint has inspired many people. Players struggling a little bit, and he'll take the time to just think about Clint, where Clint has struggled and made uh, himself into the man that he is. That football player or athlete or anyone should realize if Clint Lewis can do that, they can step up and do it also. You know, when you see somebody like Clint and what he's overcome to get where he's gotten, you just have an appreciation that, that I watch our players look at him. You know, the, some of the players like to come in and, and sort of uh, steal a peek when he's giving me the game plan and just, uh, just the thankfulness, you know, uh, of, of him and, and what he brings and also, you know, what they're about to receive. And, um, and that's what I get up. You know, I think he's a guy that makes you think about, you know what, you know, I appreciate what I've got. His legacy as a member of the Baylor football program is far from over. Clint Lewis is a true inspiration who is loved by many and has made such an incredible impact at Baylor University. Next time you're at McLean Stadium, look for Clint Lewis to lead the Baylor Bears out of the tunnel.